uh, video I'm going to show you how to switch between Intel integrated graphics and dedicated GPU especially for AMD graphics so many people have confusion like whether my dedicated GPU can be actually used or actually getting used like any way to confirm it when you're actually using open source drivers now let me show let me clear some of the basic concepts that you need to know before getting into this switching of this both graphics and uh, hybrid switching of these both graphics so to check first let us check what type of devices or graph gpus you actually have in your system i'm actually using running ubuntu mate 1904 18.04 having the latest kernel 5 uh, so to check which are the devices available on your system so you, for especially graphics GPUs use the command i and xi minus g now this shows that the graphics device 1 is Intel HD graphics which is integrated graphics and device 2 is my AMD dedicated GPU now here you can see the driver available for this is i915 maybe a cable like and the driver for my AMD GPU so Radon Radon is the driver available now OpenGL renderer that is actually being used is the integrated integrated graphics card which uh, uses MESA libraries so now to check whether these graphic drivers are actually loaded so it's, it, if you would actually see this in this output here so it means that it is actually loaded to so again confirm whether it is actually loaded whether the kernel drivers are actually loaded so you could use the command ls mod grep so radon so whether the radon module right, is actually loaded so yeah so it's actually loaded and we have another thing here called amd amd gpu now here is a change Previous graphics cards that AMD pro provided used or closed source ADI drivers or AMD GPU drivers. Now, after the release, like one year back, that AMD released a new OpenStack graphics driver called AMD GPU, which is built on open source Radon driver. So that means AMD GPU is an open source driver and AMD D GPU Pro is a closed source driver. When you mean closed source drivers, these are the drivers that can only be installed on dedicated graphics cards for that particular model. And remember that if you are concentrating upon gaming, go for Radon or open source drivers now, like AMD GPU and Radon, both will be fine. Now, if you're concentrating on computation, uh, OpenCL, that's what I'm talking. So, computation part, you go for AMD GPU Pro if you have a dedicated AMD, uh, supported AMD GPU cards. So, coming into the topic, we have kernel modules loaded here. So, now let's check whether which uh, is it possible to switch between the hybrid graphics. So. To first ensure that it is possible to switch between hybrid graphics, take the command xrandr list providers. Now here you shall see. So here is here are my two graphics cards. So now zero refers to your integrated graphics card or the graphics card that is presently being used. One refers to your dedicated GPU card. If you have another dedicated GPU, uh, come here at provider two giving it is giving it an id and the name of that graphic drive now to switch so you have switching possible now because you have two dedicated gpus and are both are identified now to switch the graphics from to enable switching first this is an important thing you need to enable the switching so to enable switching so we use the command extra and or minus minus set provider offload sync now this parameter takes two and now this uh, option takes two parameters the first parameter is the actual address or the hexadecimal number that means the starting address of your AMD GPU card so zero 
zero x three f more precisely the one that you want to switch so three f so and with the inter graphics driver to with what you want to switch now this is the address for that so if you press enter so you have successfully enabled switching of graphics card so upload swing is enabled now okay if we need to check whether so let's check whether our switching is already done or not to do that I will suggest you to install an radon open source utility so it's called radon top which is a utility to get stats of usage of your AMD GPUs so to do that install a it would have to install right on top uh, okay it's already installed so so right on top is installed now let's open an application with dedicated GPU and check whether we detect our GPU is actually getting used or not to do that I would like to recommend you to install OBS studio or any sort of studios uh, because studios when you mean studios like video editing audio editing softwares actually use dedicated GPU cards for accelerating their hard their encode video encoding and video decoding features so uh, I'm going to run first right on top sudo on here sudo right on top you need to prefix it with sudo because it need to access the graphics card properties now okay let's run uh, application using a dedicated GP to do that you need to prefix the application name with DRA prime is equal to one now if you want to learn more about what exactly DRA prime is it's there are actually two things uh, when it comes to graphics drivers or any other drivers one the driver works in user space and kernel space so it's a very big topic you could google out if you want search the differences between the KMS and DRM what exactly they are how they are getting used so how modes are set kernel mode to user mode and user mode to kernel mode so okay you could have googled it now coming into the DR prime so if you want to run an application using a dedicated GPU, use DRA prime is equal to one or the integrated GPU use zero. Here we are uh, going to run using dedicated GPU. So we are using DRA prime is equal to one and the name of the application like start from just command line. So OBS studio. Okay, let's see. So you see that our Right on top is showing the stats of usage of our AMD GPU card. Now, so it's clearly so. You, by this, you can confirm that our AMD GPU card is actually getting used, and you could use an application to run on dedicated GPU. You could use your Firefox browsers. You could use any sort of application to run on GPUs. So if you if you use Fedora, Fedora or Genome, Genome actually gives you an option. Like if you right click on a particular application, it gives you an option to run on with dedicated GPU. So if you are using some sort of any other environments, and mainly if your graphics card doesn't have drivers for Linux official drivers, you need to go with open source. And this is the way that you can install and confirm whether your graphics drivers are really working on it so I hope I think I'm clear with the topics that I explained so thank you I'm closing the session here